Hi everybody, this is Anne Emery with Excel for Evaluation. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add data labels to your chart. So here's the data that we're working with. We've got data for 10 different communities and we have their scores on 7 different sections of an instrument, as well as their total scores. Let's take a look at Section 1 scores and see how the communities lined up. So let's just insert a bar chart by selecting this area here, the Section 1 scores. Go up to the Insert tab. Go over to bar chart. We're going to select this first option right here, a 2D clustered bar. And let's give ourselves some more space to work with. So we're going to right click in this white space right here. We're going to move the chart to its own sheet. So click on move chart. And let's put it in a new sheet and we'll name this section 1 because we're looking at the section 1 scores. Click on OK. Now we've got a little bit more space. So let's add some data labels to make things more clear. So right click on the bars themselves, on the colored part, and just go to Add Data Labels. And they show up right there outside the end. You can make a lot of tweaks to these, so one thing I like to do is adjust the font size. I like to make everything size 14 bold, because when you paste your charts into Word, that seems to work really well. That seems to be the equivalent of a size 11 or 12 font in Word. So we made them a little bit larger. Um, let's do some more adjustments. So we're going to right click on this box, Format the data labels. You can change the label right here. So if you click on series name, it says section one. We don't really need that information. It's kind of repetitive. You can click the category name and then it labels it with which community it is. And of course the value is the percentage of how the community scored on that section of the instrument. You can also change where the label is. So right now it's outside the end of the bar. If you change to center, it looks like this. They're just centered in the middle inside the end, that's definitely my favorite, or inside the base. So let's just change it to inside end. Click close. Now you'd also want to make several other adjustments to these charts, probably changing the colors, removing some of the grid lines, etc. Um, but we'll go over those adjustments in future videos. So there you go, that's how to create data labels inside your charts. Thank you.